Hello there guys, welcome back to the e-bike repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dash, I take apart and fix super fun and exciting stuff like this. This is a um, 72 volt, 30 amp hour triangle e-bike battery pack. And um, I've stripped it all down because the um, group 9, this one, is misbehaving. It's telling us that it's seeing a completely different voltage, so I've got it connected to the Bluetooth BMS here. And you can see amp BMS, 30 amp hour. Look at that, 3.2 volts on group 9. Now, if we watch, I short out? No. If we watch the voltage as I press down on uh, this this cell here, have a watch of the voltage as I press 3.226. That's showing. He says it's not doing it now. Huh, what? There you go, look, 3.3, 3.4, 3.4. And if I take my finger off, it drops back down. I've just, the company sent me out uh, six new cells, so uh, 21700 cells, LG M50 LTs. So I've got six of those. And they've sent me out new um, copper nickel composite strip and some nickel in case I didn't have a spot welder that could do it or something. And um, I've just come to take it all apart and I think I've just found that the uh, the spot welds aren't holding. They're actually not on properly. Look, I can make the voltage go up if I press it down. There you go, look, three and a half volts. And it's really hard to show you if you can see the nickel moves. Um, I'm going to try and set this up somewhere so I can show you that I can lift this. Okay, I figured out the best way to show it will be, look at that. If I get my little pick, I can actually move the cell. So it's clearly not attached. I wonder if I can do it with my nails, but that's stabby. Yeah, look, the cell moves. I'm going to have to go through and check, make sure no others in this group are like that, or I'll respot weld the lot, but... Um, that's not meant to happen. I think that might be where our problem lies. Yep, because uh, this is quite a new pack. It's not that old. It's only got... Might even tell me how many cycles it's got on it. Balance status. Well, total of cycles. It's only done 96 amp hours, and I tested it, at least, you know, once or twice. I think it's left the factory with uh, no... Well, without proper spot welds there, it might be worthwhile me going back over the entire pack if that's happened to one. But, um, mm, the more you know. Following up, I've just gone to pick up the pack to take it over to the spot welder. Look, there's another one. They're not making a, a connection there. Look, I shouldn't be able to move the cell like that, should I? Isn't that funny? I bet if I kept fiddling around, I'd find uh, even more like that. There you go, look, another one. Ah. That'll probably explain a lot, won't it? I didn't even think to look for... I was testing these. Uh, the, the spot wells themselves, you know, I was picking around at them. Didn't think to actually try and just move the cell. There are loads of them. Whole packs barely welded together. I'm assuming they're just really weak welds. Whatever spot welder they're using at the factory it was obviously not um, not very good. Just having a little feel around and seeing if I can see any more. Interesting. Well. Which one was it? Yeah, that, that one. Crikey! I think I'm going to have to go back over the entire pack and respot weld everything. So, um, that'll be fun. Right, I've got the uh, pack set up underneath the new spot welder there. Um, what I'm going to have a look for is, uh, settings wise, it says for 0.2mm pure nickel, set it to 500 and then. Uh, 
I'm assuming that's joules, so welding power, two pulses, 60 milliseconds. So I've got it set to 500, two pulses, 60 milliseconds. That's just how many spot welds I've done. It goes up at the counter to show you how many you've done. And um, we shall have a look at that and see if this will uh, this will weld. All right, there we go. I've got my uh, lights plugged in there. You can actually see. So this cell, you can see, will move around in the holder, which is obviously not much good. Let's get that all lined up. That look lined up. It looks kind of lined up to me. Let's have a look. See what kind of horrors this does if it just blows a hole in the top of the cell or not. I'm scared. Ah, sticking. Now that looks a bit like a promising weld, doesn't it? I've come too close to the uh, centre there and I've started to blow a hole in it though. Oh, phone's going. Okay, I've slightly adjusted the width of the tips there so that it might actually uh, do a bit better. And it's really hard to do this with one hand. Obviously you're handheld held at the moment. Let's have a go with that one. Oh, look at that. Now that's a spot weld. Let's have a little inspection, shall we? Don't blow my fingers off as I touch the other side of the pack. So we've got the previous spot welds there, which clearly do not hold, and a proper spot weld there. Which uh, it can ignore that, that first one didn't have the tip distance set correctly, so I've slightly uh, missed there. But this one, look at that, that's a spot weld. You can tell it will hold, and I might have a go at you know, sort of picking at the edge of it or something with, uh, with a little device, see if it comes off. Okay, here we go. I've got my tiny screwdriver. Can I get that under the light for you? There you go, let you see that a bit better now. Oh yeah. She's not coming off. So I'm poking at the next cell now. Where I wish I had more hands. I'll put you down on this. Is that gonna work? Loop. Maybe like that. That'll do something, won't it? There you go. Um Yep, I can peel that one straight off. Look, it's come off the uh, the nickel there. And this one, not a hope. I'm breaking the cell holder at the end. So I'm going to go back round, and I shall re-spot weld up the whole pack. Excellent. At least it can be done. 